How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be doing a review on Bridge Constructor Portal. So this obviously caught my attention thanks to Valve. And uh, it turns out it's actually a Bridge Constructor game by the developers Clockstone and was published by Head Up Games. So one thing that's interesting also is that this is actually available for Android, iOS, it was done on Linux, Mac OS, and of course Windows. And there are plans to actually release it on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in early 2018. Now this game just came out, so, um, and we're talking, you know, the end of December 2017. And so there's a lot of games out there, and, you know, this one just caught my attention as something really fun, really simple, um, but also something that can actually challenge you. And, you know, we have the, the simple puzzles that came into play, but also things got a lot more complex. And, of course, we had our favorite GLaDOS. This chamber will include untested testing apparatus. Previous tests have shown that applicants who are more anxious about the increased complexity will take comfort in the following sounds. We can see from your biofeedback monitor that your mood has nearly improved to acceptable limits. The red, heavy-duty super colliding super button must be permanently pressed to hold the door open. There is also a vital apparatus vent. When activated, it drops a weighted companion cube. If you've been paying attention, the solution should be obvious. As the case may be, good luck. Congratulations. You've made it farther than anyone expected. Unfortunately, testing conditions will not be getting any less dangerous. You know, and uh, obviously the portal aspect of the game made it really fun. Uh, in terms of bugs, you know, I'd say it's a pretty polished game. Um, there's obviously a few things that I ran into, like this when I was playing, where wheels would get caught under things. But, uh, you know, in terms of the, the controls, they're very simple, very easy to keep track of. And uh, that was definitely a huge plus, you know. But it was just so fun just to to kind of get in there and construct things that maybe weren't even, you know, necessarily the right answer, but, uh, you know, it ended up working. And of course, there's tons of portals. There's our companion cube right there helping us out. And, you know, there's just tons and tons of different things. And, uh, you know, one of the things also that I definitely, definitely enjoyed was um, just the aspect of being able to sit down and enjoy a nice little puzzle game with some, you know, some fun easter eggs and, you know, all the fun stuff that comes along with, uh, you know, all the, the whole Portal series. Along with that, there was, you know, a lot of cool yeah, graphics that came game. through with explosions, so seeing lots of that. Um, here, you know, I actually went through everything that I tried to to get this uh, this map working and everything correct, you know. But there's also one of the things that was interesting about it is that not only was it, uh, you know, you can do things simple, but uh, there's also a lot of different complexities in this. Now, since Clockstone has published and created a lot of different uh, these you know, construction games, uh, there's so many different ways that they explain how to actually create effective bridges and shallow angles and being able to, you know, architect your bridges correctly. So it's showing, you know, best practices and actually really gets into the actual physics behind it. So, you know, I'm seeing right here, we're looking at freaking angles and reflections. And so, uh, you know, it even talks about oscillating bridges. And so it really goes into really the physics and mechanics that they have uh, done so well in the past with their other bridge construction games as well. So, uh, you know, even just fine-tuning um, some suspensions and, and dropping some weight somewhere will actually help so you can solve it. The other thing, too, that we're looking at now is really just all the different mechanics they start to introduce as you play the game. Aperture Science Propulsion Gel is able to increase the test vehicle's velocity threefold. As a side effect, it also provides marginal increases to vehicle driver fun. Vehicles seen by the turret's targeting laser are marked for disqualification, followed by rapid disassembly. The blue lines in this chamber are Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grills. 
They will vaporize all Aperture Science testing apparatus, except for the test vehicles. Aperture Science Repulsion Gel will reflect any objects that fall onto it. Please enjoy observing all the fun that the vehicle drivers will have. Magnificent. So some of the only other things that, you know, I didn't necessarily love was just the fact that, you know, about halfway through, it kind of became, you know, the same puzzle game. You know, the, the introduction to new components were kind of gone and they just made it more complex puzzles. So, you know, I still enjoyed it a lot. Of course, we had cake. Um, but all in all, I think I would give this game really an 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, I would definitely say it's a, a game to look into. If you're into the construction puzzle games, this is definitely one that you want to get. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.